Hey everyone, welcome back for another Exos Heroes episode. So in today's episode, we're going to take a look at the new director's note. So season three, final story and content improvements. Okay, so greetings from Yong Zun Choi, the director of Exos Heroes. So from this note, I will be delivering you updates about the new story and improvements on several contents. Okay. First, we'll start with the new stories for chapter 18 update. So, Zeon members once again have gathered on the Cruel Merciless execution site. So, they will be, will they be able to go into this no hassle? So, I expect this one to be as difficult as always in the start. And again, probably the, uh, the other chapters would be lessened in terms of difficulty as expected again. So moving on to Fate Core Memory and Air Squadron Fate Core Memory sharing. So we have prepared the Fate Core Memory for you as another method to obtain Fate Core and Air Squadron Fate Core Memory sharing where you can share this with your Air Squadron members. So Fate Core Memory is a new material item where you need 50 memories to obtain a fate core which is the same for a case of hero memory so this would be again as they said similar to your hero memory but again this is your fate core version that's just it which is actually good because you know you get to share fate cores and fate cores would be easier to obtain if they roll this out so this is actually good i'm looking forward to this so obtain fate course and get closer to your air squadron members through fate core memory sharing okay let's move to the next so you have your door to creation fate core recruit craft book so this simply tells you that you can mix two you can combine two actually you have there the chart so craft book name gold slash blue uh, required material then the outcome would be a random gold slash blue so that's it so for black fate core again two black is another random black fate core which is actually good because i myself have excess fate cores already so i already have level um plus five uh for hecken and i have a sixth one which i don't use <laughs> and i would really love to more or less um convert that fate core into other fate core so again very good in terms of um, acquire, having the community to acquire more fate cores um again this game is about fate cores not even the original form so very good i like this one again because again it gives the community um ease in acquiring fate cores and and also for those who have excess fate cores in which they're not using anymore they can actually change it to another fate core of the same color or uh glue gold and blue then probably gold and blue again okay so that this is very good okay you can only use a fate core without a hero as a craft book material and can also obtain a fate core without a hero in a recruit result so again fate cores no need for the hero and when recruiting the fate core that was used as a material will be excluded in the rec recruit result which is good because you don't you don't want to obtain the same one that you want to want to you know to dispose of right so very good again very good um direction exos for having this next would be your zeb and stunier team preset so for this one um i think this is just simply in terms of your tag week usually have th three presets there so more or less they're making this permanent the, the, the presets would be permanent and you could carry even the tag one and tag two to your single day single team um zebenstone year uh what they call this battle so from the team preset function you can save up to three teams so this is good because again we have been swapping in and out teams and this gives us gives us a better quality of you know quality game quality quality of life in terms of um, arranging our teams again very good update for exos heroes okay this is the one that i've been you know um wanting to hear about so unleash potential effect in info and reset function so the unleash potential is a content where you can give a blah 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 a function where you can check 
Unleash Potential effect has been added in the Unleash Potential menu, which is good. An Unleash Potential button will be added to... Uh, touch the button, pop up, blah, blah, blah. Also, the Unleash Potential reset function will also be added as many as you have and as many as you have requested this. You can get all the circles and ultimate orbs back that you have used on the heroes which you do not use anymore which i have a ton of these not only me but you guys have a ton of these so this is actually a good a good you know uh, quality of life adjustment again for the game um it decreases the frustration of players that they've invested in this hero and now he can't use it or he doesn't want to use it so again this is actually very good in terms of improving you know the the quality of life of the players um, in the game and probably also bring back interest in the game as well. Okay. Team organize indicate nation and team organization function. So the team organization screen has been improved so that players can check their nation and team organization information at once. So very good as a quick glance. The bottom of the team's thumbnail shows the nation instead of the combat power. When you organize it it's here into a team, the border effect is displayed for the hero in the same nation as the hero you have selected. Okay, very good. Uh, just a simple um, improvement in organizing. Um, okay. If the heroes on the team meet the signature force buff conditions, a special effect will be displayed separately in hero thumbnail and on the top screen. So again, just some indicators that, you know, again, improves our way of our quality of life in terms of the game. Convenience improvements. Uh, we receive feedback on improving readability of some products pricing. We improve readability a thousand unit comma Mark is added to the price at the store. I I don't think this is just the readability. I think this is the price actually that they're putting out. So for Exo Zeros, I I tell you, man, please lower your prices so that the entry point for those who want to spend are even lower. Um, this would you know open you guys to a lot more players that are willing to pay, but at a lower price. So I suggest you lower the prices. Of the items that you have in the shop and provide better quality items there okay manage heroes journal hero tool tip so although the heroes nation is very important several okay manage heroes air squadron raid embodiment of avarice we have received feedback on the functions to check the combat power of each team organized the discussion we decided that at bottom we just check the combat power the squadron okay another quality of life um um what do you call this add on but this is what i'm excited on so preview on new content so this is i hope this is just a start exos because number one i would be disappointed if this is just it okay um after nearly a year of playing your game I expect more in terms of new content. So I hope this is a start. Okay. Mark my word. Exo Zero's team is preparing various content that can be enjoyed in various ways. In the new content preview section, players will be able to check out the news of new content that is being currently prepared and will be available soon. So you have your Arc Burrs, which is more or less a real-time pvp so in arc burst you will, you will match with others in real time and you will take turns forming teams of five and begin the battle so it's it's like a draft a drafting of uh, drafting of heroes when organizing the team each player can choose one hero to ban that is not available for both heroes to use so which is good another strategy this is actually pretty much good in the first update of arc burrs i don't know where you get your 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 content title guys but it's actually pretty much very awkward to say it um the other one was also awkward the Benstone year was also awkward so this is also awkward so i don't know what, what what was the inspiration for this one so again in the first update of the of arc burrs it it will proceed to a preseason and basically it will be matched between users of the same server, but all 
server matching will be prepared in event form. Okay. I have no problem with this. This my 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 only concern is it's usually you usually you launch everything in preseason, including the other event that is still in preseason. You know what I'm talking about. So again, this again should be you know should I, can you just skip the preseason and go to the actual you know content for this one? Okay, so Arc Burst will be updated at the end of May, which is roughly a month from now. So kindly wait a little longer. Okay, so I'm I'm happy with this with the new content. I'm happy with this again, but again, guys, take note, Exo Zeros. I hope you're listening. We need more content aside from this one. I'm not being greedy at this time. I'm happy with just one right now. But again, the game is evolving. Your players are evolving. People are leaving. People are joining, and you gotta. Give them a reason to stay, man. It's not like, you know, players are, you know, are would just, you know, stay for no reason. Give them a reason to stay and play the game. Not just for the waifus and for those bandos that you have. But again, for how you play the game, how we collect your heroes, how we develop our heroes, and most especially the content. Make them stay because of content. Content is king, guys. So please make sure that you add from this one. This is a good start, but again, you should add from this one because you'll be turning one year, end of May as well for global. But again, you have to make sure that you have more content moving forward. Okay, next would be your fan art event celebrating global year's one year pre-announcement. May 20th, uh, yeah, I know. I just said it a while ago. So we thank you for love and support. Uh, fan art event show off okay fan art closing comments so the last story of season three will be released through the update in april so we'd like to thank all the users who have been playing exos here so far so in season four and five we will we will appreciate prepare to show more charming and interesting content i'll hold you to that actually because again this game has a lot of potential it has a lot you know the ceiling is still so high that you it will be the downfall of this game will depend on how the developers will release content so that's it so from now on the contents that we're receiving we're receiving a lot of criticisms will be modified in various ways along with the new content arc verse with that we introduced the new storytelling content memorial saga will be released soon okay storing content which is good i just saw this one so this is another content different arc burst so please look forward to it okay arc burst then memorial saga again guys content is king if you don't have any content this game will just die okay but i love this game i love the artwork very very good artwork probably the best that i've seen in a game but again, you have to give people the reason or players the reason to stay. Okay. So guys, anyway, for those of you who stayed in this video, please put down there a comment or comments on this update and how you saw this update. What are your opinions on this update? Hope you were happy with this update. Anyway, also, you guys stay safe. Take care. But before that, for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do because 85% of my, my viewers haven't subscribed yet. This will help my channel very much. Again, guys, stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.